Okay, so the last example, we looked at the integral of tangents. So the other functions, can, we can now get a formula for it as well. So for integral of sine, we have already, we have a formula for that one already. Negative cosine of x plus c. And same for the integral of cosine. Sine of x plus c. Tangent we just did negative ln absolute value of cosine of x. And then cotangent, if we did it in the same way, comes out to ln absolute value sine of x plus c. Now these next two, they are a little bit more random. So the integral of secant is ln of the absolute value of secant plus tangent like okay and the integral of cosecant is negative ln absolute value of cosecant x plus cotangent x plus c and that is really kind of random so we're going to look at why at least number five is number six the proof will be pretty similar so let's look at just the one for secant so there were some pretty smart people back in the day. And somebody came up with a technique of like, hey, let's try this. Let's multiply the top and the bottom by secant plus tangent. And we're going to distribute that secant all the way across. So I end up with secant squared plus secant tangent all over secant plus tangent. And now I have u prime over u. The derivative of secant is secant tangent. The derivative of tangent is secant squared. <clears throat> so I have ln of the absolute value of secant x plus tangent x. <clears throat> and there's your proof. Okay, so let's try uh, some of these integrals where we have these fun trig functions. So for a, uh, I know now what the formula for tangent is, but I don't know what it is for tangent of five theta. I want it to be just an x, that's, or just a theta that's got a five in front of it. So let's do a u substitution. So we'll let u equal five theta. So the du would be five d theta. So that means I now need a five on the inside, and you guessed it, a one-fifth on the outside. So now I have one-fifth times the integral of tangent of u du. So negative one-fifth ln of cosine of u plus c and then switch it back in terms of theta. Okay, and there you go. So part B, that would be really similar to this, do a U sub. Uh, so I'll let you guys look at that one on the online notes. Uh, but let's look at uh, part C, because it's a little bit different. Cosecant squared over cotangent. So anytime you have a fraction, no matter what it is, just look at the denominator and go, okay, is that derivative on top? So what's the derivative of cotangent? Well, that would be a negative cosecant. So I need a negative inside and out. So I end up with negative ln absolute value of cotangent of t uh, plus c. Now you can rewrite this a little bit because remember logarithms have other properties. 
So you can pull that negative, the negative one up to be the exponent. And then the negative one will take the reciprocal of cotangent and make a tangent. So typically you would either stick with the first one or you would convert it into this one here. So just be aware that you can do that, uh, especially on like a multiple choice question. All right, uh, for D, this one is just a matter of integrating each term. So ln of secant t plus tangent t, and then plus the integral of tangent, so it'll actually be a minus, ln absolute value cosine of t plus c. Okay, so we'll go ahead and stop this video here, uh, and we'll continue in the next one.